It's definitely been entertaining to see the back and forth between Aaron Rodgers and Travis Kelsey. Seems like it's all in good fun with Aaron Rodgers calling him Mr. Pfizer on the Pat McAfee show just a few weeks ago. And then Travis Kelsey kind of playfully replying when he's up there for a press conference talking about, hey, the Jets are owned by the Johnson & Johnson family. We're kind of in the Vax Wars now. Well, it may have just gotten a little bit more serious or at least more entertaining because Aaron Rodgers once again was on the Pat McAfee show this Tuesday and decided to address Mr. Pfizer once again and say, hey, it's not a war. It's just a conversation. But if you wanted to get more serious, we absolutely can. Aaron Rodgers challenges Travis Kelsey to a, quote, vaccine debate, wants RFK Jr. in his corner. This ain't a war, homie. Keep in mind, all of this is now happening on ESPN because the Pat McAfee show is now on ESPN. So here's the clip. He actually invites Travis Kelsey for this debate, whether it's on the Kelsey Brothers podcast or right there on the Pat McAfee show on ESPN. I can't imagine ESPN would allow someone like RFK Jr. to talk vaxes on the platform, but this is Aaron Rodgers' idea. Let's listen to this. I mean, listen, you know, Mr. Pfizer said he didn't think he would be in a vax war with me. Oh, boy. Didn't think he'd be in a vax war with me. This ain't a war, homie. This is just conversation. But if you want to have some sort of uh, dual debate, what? have me on the podcast. Come on the show. Let's have a conversation. Oh, oh let's okay. Do it. Pass it up. Let's do it like uh, like in uh, John Wick 4, right? So we both have a second. Nice. There's right? so somebody to help us out. I'm- you can also kind of tell anytime they start going in on this. Obviously, Pat's not quite sure how to respond. He likes Aaron Rodgers, likes having Aaron Rodgers on there. And it's clear that ESPN probably not a big fan of this conversation, but lets it go anyway. Let's let's let him continue. I'm going to take my man, RFK Jr. Okay. <laughs> okay. As yes. an independent. Hell yeah. Right? And he can mm-hmm. have, you know, Tony Fauci or oh. some other pharmacrat. And we can have a conversation about this. Okay. Well, I'm happy. So... The, the, uh, the proposed debate format would be Aaron Rodgers and RFK Jr. versus Travis Kelsey, Mr. Pfizer, and Anthony Fauci. Somehow I don't know if ESPN would put that up on their platform. I think we got that sorted. Thought for sure you were going with Rogan, but obviously, <laughs> Dr. Joe Rogan, I apologize. Mm-hmm. But RFK Jr., not a bad dude. He's been at the forefront of this conversation on the internet. I have seen mm-hmm. currently an independent. And could you imagine Fauci and Kelsey sitting down across oh. from Aaron and RFK Jr.? Appointment television. Ah, I know you have that 500-page report already that kind of got forgotten about in the whole thing. Hey, Pat, why That'd didn't you? Reading. What's that? That'd be big ratings. Big ratings right oh, there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, and everybody would be really happy, too. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Every <laughs> ads, everybody, I'm sure everybody in ESPN would love that. But it would be pretty big ratings, I think, if that happened. I we'll see. It's been interesting to watch these two kind of go back and forth through the public on the Pat Magby show or up on the press conference, whatever. We'll see. I don't think this will happen. I, I somehow I do not think that Pfizer would let uh, Travis Kelsey get up there and have this type of debate. But pretty funny nonetheless. What do you guys think about this nonsense? Let me know in the comment section below. Smash a like button. Subscribe to the channel. Ring the bell for notifications. Share this video out there, and I'll talk to you later.